Or skies, Terry Burger here from Ronnie Dojo on Baxter Karate. Some of you a while ago seen a uh, little two-on-one drills with these two people coming in with headshots and then you're trying to take them down. Or the other part was people are coming and trying to take me down and I'm trying to land headshots on them. A lot of people are commenting, oh, what's the point of doing that? It's not really fair, you're not punching, it's not realistic. Just one training exercise. That develops and builds on. So these are my students, so these are used to doing it a bit. So what we'll do you now, we'll just show you that process we'll go through. And we'll do it with the headshots. So the first bit, they're going to come in, looking to land shots on my head. I'm just looking to block and to cover and to move. We take it up the gear, then they're going to come in with a little bit more tension. I'm looking to grab and try and take them down and move them around. The third set, a little bit more pressure on. I'm looking to chuck shots back at them then. We're not going crazy, no one's getting knocked out. But this is just some pressure testing, okay? I see some videos of people, they're talking about pressure testing and they're doing this. What's the name? This is their pressure testing. That's not pressure. Pressure is where you've got someone ah, hitting you with shots. You're hitting you. You've got a blocker and you're thinking, oh, oh, what the hell is going on? Especially coaching people because they only concentrate on tournaments, which is my big bugbear. I tell everyone, you're not concentrating on headshots and you're not doing real karate, you're just doing the sport version. Us? Okay. So we're doing the first session, we'll take it on now. Okay, sit down, guys. I'm getting hit, there's no doubt about it. It's not about avoiding every shot, I know I'm going to be hit. What I'm trying to do is damage, uh, limit the damage that I'm taking. I'm keeping my guard up, I'm not taking clean shots on the button. They're hitting me on the head, they're coming around the side, they're not landing clean on the chin. I'm disrupting the shots. Us. So the next part of that now, the boys will come in with a little bit more pressure. And I look to try and grab, disengage, take down. But as soon as I grab Nate, he's got free reign on me. So what I don't want to do is end up like this, trying to wrestle with Nate then. He's got me. Horse, fast shot, sharp movements, misdirecting with him around. Horse, next stage, let's go. shots on me. They only need to catch me 
with one clean shot on the button, I'm gone. And now I'm at their mercy. Okay, so head defense is very important. Pressure is very important. Okay, you really need to weather the storm a bit. Get that one shot. Bang, bang. Close. Close. So, take this back to your dojos. Practice it, not every night. You kill off all your students. It's not for everyone, but if you claim to do real karate, and the point of real karate is to defend yourself in a real fight, real karate for real fights, okay? This is the type of stuff you should be doing. You have to be doing it. Stay dangerous. Awesome. Awesome.